increase the efficiency, say, over what would be a non-green building? Antonio. Antonio. Here's our man. Here's our man. He uh, knows everything. I don't know about everything. <laughs> the main things were as, you know, they stated up there. Antonio's the best mechanical contractor in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, the question was what specifically uh, we did to increase the energy efficiency of the heating and air conditioning system. We actually explored, explored several different systems, including um, you know, geothermal and heat pumps and cold weather heat pumps and all these different incarnations of how we can heat and cool this building adequately. Um, and basically, at the very beginning, it was, very, it, was, it was a much more complex system than what we're installing now. Um, the loads seemed higher because we were working on it before the walls were open. So, you know, to Rob's, you know, integrated approach that he's been talking about, once the walls uh, were opened up and there was side mounting insulation and then we were able to lower the lighting load, the, the HVAC system became much more simple to the point where we could actually drop it to one residential um, heating and cooling system. Whereas typically in a building like this, we might have at least two, most likely three or maybe four systems. So we could do different areas. Um, but Walter um, had twin, has windows that are going in here that, have, that are very high performance. So we're going to have less solar heat gain in the summertime. Um, you know, we still have some issues with the uh, like that side there that's is you know facing south. So late in the in the day, the heat's going to come in. And we have to deal with that, so we have to put more air into certain areas. So, um, did you were you able to reduce that to a certain uh, BTU uh, amount? That you oh, yeah. say, the, you know what we can do here? We can do this whole place with 125,000 BTU, whatever. I were think we started out with we're like 160,000 BTUs of heating required, and I think now we're down to what. 86 and mm -hmm. 80 something. So it was a significant. We're <laughs> just a modest sized house. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's and all because we did all the other things that affected this system. Yep. Yep. So it all makes sense. Yep. 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 If, I, if I could add also, the, the, the thing, I, I recently took an energy auditing course again. I had taken it before about five years ago, retook it. And I got to say, the simplest thing is like right under our noses and the average person just doesn't understand. It's a simple thing of air sealing. Most houses, most buildings, most offices are leaky. And when they're leaky, that means there's all this heated air in the wintertime that's being wasted and in the summertime there's all this hot air coming in that has to be cooled against. And usually that work, you know, for a house, um, it's usually a thousand bucks, fifteen hundred bucks, and it's usually a one to two year payback. And after that, it's all your money. Talk about an economic stimulus package, for God's sakes. So air sealing is such a simple thing. I just, I kind of want to go cross country with a sign, you know, like, let me, air seal your home, for God's sakes. Yeah, let me interject again. Sign up for the Step Ahead mailings. And the Town Environmental Commission's going to be working with the New Jersey Office of Clean Energy. They actually offer a home audit program now for $125, which is dirt cheap. And for that $125, $125 and not only get the audit, but they provide you with $1,000 worth of contractor services to come in and seal up those holes. So if you've got a house that you want to tighten up, um, look for that program. There's $13 billion every year that are wasted through all those little cracks and holes. That's from the Department of Energy. So that, that's a huge number. And if every house in America you know, did the air sealing, we would save $13 billion. That's how it adds up. There's actually another little part to the air sealing. Once you seal up, you can actually use uh, what's called an energy recovery ventilator. So I like to describe to our customers as, you know, the air is leaking in through the cracks in and around the windows. Your, your buildings actually infiltrate, but it exfiltrates as well. So, you know, you heat up the air in space, it expands, it goes out through the cracks. Then it cools down, it brings in the cold air. So now you're bringing in dry, cold air in the wintertime. You're bringing in hot, humid air in the summertime. Um, the energy recovery ventilators give that air a path to it come in and out of the building. So, you know, why would it come in through the cracks where it can pick up 
dust and debris and, and, and allergens and just things that are in the walls when you basically have an open door, which is this energy recovery panel here. The only difference is now, when the air comes in, it's preconditioned by the air that would have been going out anyway. So um, typically, some of the average energy recovery ventilators recover 60% of the heat or cool that is, you know, would normally be lost. So. Is Alex here from BPE? Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. okay. Yeah, Alex has worked with us um, from BPE, and we're doing uh, energy recovery ventilators here at, at Marty's shop. Too.